Hey guys, if you click this one, you've seen the title. This video is a little bit different than normal. So this one, uh, this is a just a video, uh, a sponsor, if you will. Um, and it is Dragon Champions. And uh, we're playing this game and I give it a little bit of try. If you like games like you like Marvel Strike Force and such like that, you're going to like this one. Uh, I'll just say right off the bat for my playing, I haven't done too too much playing just started a few days ago but what i'll say is that this game is kind of just like all of those types of games like marvel strike force other types star wars galaxy of heroes other ones like that but it is super uh free to play friendly and that's what i found so far i've unlocked a lot of stuff and just kind of found myself interested in it and uh yeah wanted to share it with you guys really quick uh just in case if you already have this game if you recently downloaded it if you're under level 15, essentially, you can use my promo code, which is going to be in all caps, and you can use that promo code in game. I'll show you how to do it in a little bit when I enter it in for myself. I get uh, percentages back from that. If you guys get in the game and then you spend money, I get some of the uh, funds from that. And so what you're doing is really self, just using yourself to support the channel uh, here, which I appreciate. And so you're obviously getting in game stuff. So. Let me know, guys, um, if you're interested in playing this one. If you do, like I said, enter my code. It helps support me and support this channel, and that's awesome. So what you can kind of see casually with this game, it's like most other types of these like turn-based strategy games. And essentially, I'm just going to go in right away, and we're going to enter this promo code. You go into the little gear up here. You click on that, and then you go to use promo code. And we got COMBS in all caps. We're hitting OK. Look at that. All right, so we got these rewards here. I'm honestly not even sure what all this stuff is. So we got this fella. So we get to unlock him, Corcoran. And then we get 500 of these. I'm not totally sure what those are. And then we got 250 bajillion of those. That's cool. 500 energy, cool. 100 sim tickets. That's pretty awesome. So I think these are like the premium currency in game, the Dracoins. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So we got all that stuff. All right, so we can unlock this guy right now. And so it's pretty interesting because he's an orc, and my understanding is that orc characters, that's the best faction right now. So that's pretty cool. So here's everybody that I have so far. My understanding is that the orc faction is the best, but you kind of got to get them as you go. Uh, it's really interesting because I was looking through this stuff, and you can see this was one of the most interesting things to me is popularity. So I think that means in arena. And so, like, for example, like this freaking guy, Tromgar, he's using 97% of teams, which is wild to me. And then, you know, 45%, 48%, 25%. Okay, so those guys are just not very good. 52%, this freaking guitar hero guy here. Um, <laughs> we got Mo Mordoom. I don't know how you say that. But 75%, so that's used quite a bit. And then she's at 58%, 52. So it's interesting. You know, we have some other characters in here that are like that. So you might be saying one other thing that I found that is super awesome about this game is that the events are just not all of them, but a lot of them are just here to unlock characters. So these are two legendary characters and you can just kind of come in and play the events whenever you want. So I'm not high enough level because I already beat the first three tiers of this one, but this one recommended level 20. I'm only level 15 right now. And so like you can just come in here and you play these events and just kind of whatever so like this is uh these are like just random events kind of like the team up events as far as i understand so we can just come in here and we'll uh we'll play it we'll fight all right so i'm gonna use this team right now and we'll actually put her in because i like her better than him and we'll go in and you just play it you fight you battle whatever i mean it's it's just essentially like all the other games that you and i are used to playing when it comes to games like this so this game is available i mean it's on the Google Play and App Store, you know, as always, like as these games always are, of course. But I'm playing on BlueStacks right now. I would um, I would give you guys a plug for BlueStacks affiliate link, but I don't have one because I guess BlueStacks doesn't like me. So if you are watching this and you work for BlueStacks, um, get me an affiliate link, fellas. Um, <laughs> just playing, of course. So coming in here and I mean you can just kind of do as you can do oh we summoned that bear and then he died but we can just put it on auto because I don't see any reason to sit here and continue to play it I don't even know if we can beat this I've never played this mission before it doesn't look like we're gonna win as far as I can see right now but I could be wrong about that it's just it's interesting right so like you can just come in here and it's just it's very in my experience like it's very free to play friendly like I feel like I've like 
as I've been playing, like I've unlocked characters and like, it's just felt good. Like I haven't, I haven't even like felt like I needed to spend. Like earlier there was the ad that popped up and I didn't even really feel like, I was like, oh, like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get this. Like I didn't even look at it. Cause it was like, I don't feel like I need anything in the game right now. So maybe that's just cause I'm a beginner or whatever, but you know, it, it feels really good so far. Um, as, at least as far as I've been playing. So definitely recommend it to you guys uh we'll look at a couple of the other features after this battle after i die because i'm getting wrecked so we're back and we just got the login reward which is fine uh there's like a hearty amount of like achievements that you can get i noticed that as well it's kind of nice because like you just feel like you're getting rewards all the time which is great now are the rewards like out of this world no not really like they're just kind of whatever but it feels good feels good to unlock stuff so this is cool uh challenges i mean this is just like anything else so like you have like the money ones right so this is like for money and you do this and like you're level 12 you're level two so like you can do that and it's just like anything else like you play them and uh but the campaign like it's cool like you come in and like you have like the two different campaigns so this is like heroes this is like villains and i'm not sure what this one is this one's probably yeah you can just use anybody with this one it looks like so it's pretty cool overall like i said like for me like in playing this like it just it feels good um it feels different it just it's just like it feels friendly so i've been enjoying it uh the features are pretty dope and so i would love to uh like i said just see you guys in here use my code because it helps me out and um yeah i mean we'll we can do it up together you know what i mean so i'd love to see you guys uh join me on the battlefield <laughs> as they say so there's like clans and stuff too or i guess guilds or alliances or whatever you want to call them i feel like every game has different names and i'm just like i can't keep up with it but um you know like you can play with your friends and like you can just like i don't know like you play with your friends it's like anything else and yeah like, i will say there's some other features i haven't unlocked yet obviously so i haven't unlocked the guilds yet and um so arena i haven't unlocked yet apparently so that's at 25 tower i'm not exactly sure what that is i assume it's just like something where you just play like unlimited floors which would be similar to like the way that the raids are in marvel strike force and um that you would have that and then maybe like the guild raid i'm not sure it'd be like a world boss based on this picture which i appreciate you know i like the world bosses better than just like these end like just stupid repeated levels against random enemies and so then they have a world championship coming soon i don't know exactly what that means but that's pretty cool those who have tournaments, I'm not sure what that is. That could be like a blitz mode, like a limited time blitz mode, but I'm not totally sure what that is yet as it is still locked. And you have like your casual, just like, okay, like you got the bank, which is where you spend money. So you can come in here and you can buy whatever you buy. So you get these coins or whatever. So I have 1400 right now. I wonder if there's anything that we can buy that's worth buying. I wanted to buy this, but we don't have enough for that. So it doesn't seem like really any of this stuff is super worth it. So I'll just open one just for you know the sake of being here but i think that this is essentially just kind of like the premium orbs in uh certain games so like okay so like we open this we got 10 of this guy i don't even know who this is i'm gonna open more now though it's addicting you know you just want to get something good and so it's like i mean again oh 25 of this panda sage but like that's just kind of like you know this is just like the premium orb like for marvel strike force and other games like that so i don't even know what the heck that is and then all right so we'll just open this last one and that's all we got all right so i spent all of them so maybe not necessarily worth it to open things like that i would say because we really didn't get anything that we needed out of there but so some of our heroes like the gearing system is the same as other things so like for example you just i mean you just come in and you just pop the gear on boom boom let's see can we get this one anywhere oh we can't get this one anywhere just yet that's tough and so like right now we're at gear level two. You can see that with this little symbol right here. It's pretty cool. They have um, these runes. I'm not exactly sure what all goes into those, but it seems like give like stat boosts and stuff, which I guess is pretty cool. Some people like those, some people don't like them. I don't have a problem with them. I think it keeps it interesting. So you can't use those till you're level 15, but let's see, let me boost him up. I don't think we have any more runes though. I like this dude because he gives himself shield so it's kind of tanky but apparently he's not that well used he's only at 26 percent, so maybe not really worth investing in so 47 50 28 22 58 like we saw earlier 19 32 52 i mean so it's kind of like oh well, this is the guy that we almost unlocked he's at 57 it's not horrible so maybe we'll get tromgar eventually 
just depends if we keep on playing. He's like the achievement character that you can get, Tromgar. And obviously he's very good. He's the most used character in the game, so he must be dang good. So we'll get him soon, hopefully. Oh, I could have bought these. Oh, five. That's not worth it. So pretty soon we'll be able to get that. But, I mean, again, so it's just like any other game. So you can come in and, like, if you want to, like, do some things where you're, uh, where you just auto battle some of the levels to get yourself uh, more gear so you can level people up. Like that's an option as well. So like if we wanted to come in here and say, okay, so we need these belts. Oh, he needs to be level two. Well, he's not level two yet. So let's level him up. So level two, let's just level him up. We do like 10, we'll just do 10. So we'll get him up to 10. I mean, it's like anything else. Like you have like the training things and whatnot. So, okay, so let's find this. All right, so easy. So we can just, we'll just auto battle it. Boom, there you go, got some belts. We have tons of energy from the promo code. That's the other thing. The promo code lets you really hit the ground running because you're able to just, um, you're able to get the energy as well. And so like, you don't have to pay for that. Like you don't, nothing, it doesn't cost you anything to do that, but then it like, it helps out the channel here if you do that and then you spend money. So again, up to you guys, you know, okay, we're gonna auto battle this 75 times. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so we got 33 uh, everything. Okay, so everybody should be able to like gear up like everything now from the basic level. So that's pretty cool. All right, so Tron, or this is not Tromgar, so it's Corkum. All right, so he's at gear two. I wonder if we can just bump him up to 15 because he's pretty good. It's my understanding him with the orcs. So let's bump him up. Uh, he seems pretty good. Like I said, um, he's right here. So the only reason that this Adam guy is even the highest anyways is because he's a two star because that's what he unlocked at, which is interesting to me. So yeah, I mean, I'm probably just going to keep putting stuff into these orc characters because those are the good ones um, as far as, like I said, that I understand. So there we go. I mean, so we can like use these orc characters at least for now, you know, with what we got. So, you know, it's interesting. They have like a lot, a lot of these characters have like quite a few abilities like she's got a lot as, as well like it's just it's a lot so a lot of these characters work well together uh, leadership abilities unlock a gear tier four so I haven't even gotten to where I can like unlock like leadership abilities yet which is pretty cool and um, yeah there's just a lot to this game so if you guys like this type of game I highly recommend giving this one a chance and like I said if you use my code combs all caps and you put it in helps the channel out get you some free goodies so guys hopping back in this is a couple days later i've been playing this for a little while we're up to level 25 now which is pretty dope we've unlocked a couple new things that i wanted to show you guys make sure you know about because they're pretty dope fun things to do so one of the things that's really interesting you unlock more of these runes and they're pretty dope, right? So you can come in here and you just put them on and they can enhance your character stats. They've got all kinds of different tiers. I got five tiers of them. You put them on, each one has different stats on it. You can level it up. Speed, shield, tenacity, armor, a base stat here with whatever the symbol is. So this one's damage. You can level them up to level 16. Uh, pretty cool. I mostly have health ones because that's just kind of where they start you off in the first couple of tiers. And I, I, mean, I have a lot of them now at this point. I, most of my characters have them on. And I've got a lot of them. And essentially, I mean, they boost your stats, so it makes completing some of these missions a little easier. I've got some characters up. Uh, gear 3, Gear 4, is this a little hard to come by at certain points? So we got this little crow man who's not very good, but I could take him to Tier 4, so I figured I would. Uh, as you can see, his popularity is not very high. So we unlocked some of those missions. They're in the campaign, so you have, like I was saying before, you have like the heroes, the villains. These are the rune missions, and these are just kind of like everybody missions. So overall, it's pretty cool. We've unlocked, uh, we've had the guilds unlocked and I've got some people in here and uh, we've got the guild raid. Nobody's launched one yet, but what this is is a giant world boss type fight and that's pretty awesome. It's very cool. Um, you get five daily attempts, which I think is cool. This is my favorite way to do raids. You're, they're held back by star level and you have a certain number of daily attempts. That's sick. I love that. I would love to show you footage of it, but my guild is not playing it so, right now. We also have Arena, which is cool. I mean, obviously you guys know how Arena works. I'm trying to figure out who I want to put in here. I think I'm going to put him in and just kind of see. I mean, at the end of the day, my team's about double the strength of these guys, so it's pretty easy. All right, so, I mean, it's just like any other battle. You know, you come in here. Uh, we'll taunt up. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, my team's pretty good right now. I've got them leveled up pretty high. They do good damage, and so that's pretty sick. All right, we got him out of there. He's a good damage dealer. Uh, they got their taunter up, but luckily we took out the damage dealer before they got the taunter up, so not really a big deal. 
and these guys are really weak so this is pretty easy stuff i like just the battles are fun and they make sense right so we'll heal up oh we didn't even need that what am i thinking so but we're definitely gonna win this one no problem let's take out the healer now though we don't want to have to worry about her the panda guy can heal himself but it's fine we're not really too worried about him all right cool healer's dead we'll ignore the panda guy because he just heals himself and it's kind of annoying so we'll taunt up yeah, it's no problem. See, we didn't have any problem dispatching these guys. My team was way stronger than theirs was because I'm still kind of like grinding up in Arena because I just unlocked it earlier. So it's pretty cool. I like Arena a lot. And, you know, I mean, obviously, it's just kind of like classic Arena for games. So, all right, we moved up to rank 8,000. Okay, so we're pretty high up, but it's okay. Okay, that's all right. Most of these teams are really weak. I think the team I'm fighting right now is 2,700 power and mine is 9,000 power. So <laughs> it's not really that hard to beat this stuff. Boom. See, I mean, it's just, we can just kill them. We'll do it. I mean, auto can definitely win, but overall, I mean, it's pretty dope. I, I mean, this of course style is just kind of normal for games like this. You know, you have like the arena, the raids, everything else. This one actually reminds me a lot of galaxy of heroes just the way that they do it with the raids and everything else um, which i appreciate i like that a lot i mean i appreciate raids when i i will rant forever about the way that raids are in marvel strike force i think that they could uh save a lot of uh players um if they just did raids like this but you can't make money you can't make as much money doing it like this but these are more player friendly so they're just another perk for um dragon champions is the raids being this way so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always uh smash that subscribe button uh to stick around we're doing all kinds of stuff on the channel uh, it's a lot of fun a lot of great times uh leave a like if you enjoyed this if you want to see more dragon champions content and leave me a comment if you've been playing for a little while or if you have any questions about it i'm sure that i can answer that for you in the meantime everybody have a good rest of your day thanks for stopping by you're awesome bye